Now, Storm Team 4 with Central Ohio's most accurate forecast. A hot and muggy start to the weekend. It's going to get even warmer, but it's the weekend. Here's a live look at our tower camera this evening. Yeah, Storm Team 4 meteorologist Ben Gelber is in tonight with your most accurate forecast. And people like seeing weather like this when they're starting their weekend, Ben. Yeah, you can see between the Rich and Town Street Bridge and Bicentennial Park to the east, it's going to be a hopping place this weekend. As Colleen Carey said, a great start to the weekend. Toasty out there, 89, but the humidity, it's high, but it's not oppressive. That's yet to come. Uh, but either way, we're getting a dry night. We started the day at 70. Averages are 85 and 66. Records as high as 104 on this day in 1901. Beautiful evening, though, and the air is drying out a little bit. How can we tell? A deeper blue color to the sky, a little less haze on our Window Nation Tower camera view. 88 degrees. We're down a degree in the past hour. 45% humidity. That's moderate. Nice west breeze at 14. There were storms today. In fact, they're marching east across the Ohio River. They developed between McConnellsville and Athens, and they produced some warnings uh, down by Marietta. High pressure, though, is building in for the evening hours. It kind of keeps the lid on things. But there is an upstream disturbance. You can see some storms developing in northeast Iowa. They're going to head our way tomorrow morning. So our best chance of rain will be midday tomorrow, and we have a marginal risk of damaging winds. Then a boundary will lift north as a warm front, come back south Sunday night as a cold front, and again a marginal risk of damaging winds, but still we'll have plenty of dry hours between midday Saturday and Sunday night. But those scattered storms, obviously, if they tap some stronger winds aloft, can be gusty. Not a real hail threat. The downpour chance, of course, with all the humidity. Storms returning late. But in between Saturday and Sunday, it's going to be sweltering. Temperature-wise, 88 in the city, 90 Logan, Athens, 91 at Piketon. Rain cooled 82 at Caldwell, where the storms began a few hours ago that have now moved into West Virginia and Pennsylvania. Not much temperature variation across this boundary, but it will suppress the higher heat until Sunday. Notice 100 in St. Louis, 96 in Louisville. That will be our hot day. Perfect for the Jazz and Ribfest. 85 at 8 o'clock. Sun down now at 854. So that'll allow us to get into the upper 70s. And of course, it goes to 11 uh, today and tomorrow till 8 on Sunday at the riverfront. All right, so for the overnight hours, everything's fine. As we said, we wake up to middle and upper 60s. Very quickly, a batch of showers and storms rolls through from 9 or 10 in the morning to about 12, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Then begins to fall off and dissipate. Then we recover to 88 late in the day, so a wet start. A couple of overnight showers and storms uh, Saturday night. Sunday will be mainly dry. We'll be almost 90 degrees uh, by noontime on Sunday. That'll be the sweltering day. We'll watch a cold front come through uh, Sunday night and Monday and then stall. Uh, and that's going to keep things a little bit unsettled to start the work week. 69 degrees, kind of muggy out there. Uh, pretty good forecast, though, for late July. Showers and storms will be around for several hours. Not all of us will get rain, but just plan on late morning, early afternoon, some improvement later in the day. And hot and steamy Sunday, 93. Storms late into Monday. Only Tuesday, we'll see a drop-off in shower threat. Typical muggy forecast. Yeah.